Peter, you can start recording now. Okay. I, I started just now. The air filter. Okay. Okay. Do you have a prepaid maintenance plan? I'm not sure. Can you check? Um, yeah, you know, mate. Yeah. Let me look right there. Okay. I don't know what my dad put on it. Oh, thank you, Peter. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know. No, Kuso. You can say what you want to say in a brief uh, uh, repeat. <laughs> because okay. the recording is on now. Yeah. About how you got started way, way before uh, everyone hops into Cash Foundation. How you earned your so? I think he's dealing with getting his oil changed right now. Oh, okay, right, right. He's, right. he's right. multitasking. Welcome, everyone, welcome. Because the recording just started, I just, I just want to welcome everyone to the tenth physics meeting today, which is the fourth of May. Um, and thank you so much for attending the last few meetings, um, David and uh, Peter, Kuso, uh, Shah. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Luciano, for choosing Luciano for choosing to be with us today. And Paul too. And Paul has written to me with lots of ideas that we could improve upon with uh, physique currently. Thank you so much, Paul, for, for wanting to help us out in this group. And um, a very warm welcome to you to be in this um, group and and we are welcoming Jalila as well. Jalila, would you like to come forward so everyone can see you? <laughs> so we got more people now. Jalila is my dear friend and here she is. You can see her, right? Uh, Hi everyone. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. She's here joining us physically here in my flat and I didn't go to Peter High. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't go to, to Stockwell, South London, because it's going to be a little bit difficult to, to travel there in the rush hour. Um, but the director of the trust in Stockwell is very excited about what we do, because I keep her posted. I email her um, sort of like a newsletter, like when you receive emails from me, it's like a newsletter report, okay, a very short one. But it does capture the gist of what has been done in the last few meetings and what, we're doing and what we are up to right now. Uh, so um, uh, she said that her name is Julie Falset. Okay, she she's the director of the trust in Stockwell, and she really really loves what we do. And she said that she read about my idea of us organizing events, exhibitions, trade shows and educating people, creating workshops, so that more and more people would be aware of what we're doing and be involved as well and build their own devices to help themselves, either powering up their homes or healing themselves or, or expanding their consciousness. Whichever direction they're interested in, it's fine because apparently this technology, plasma technology provides for all. So she was so keen on helping us with whatever we need in terms of a venue to stage our exhibitions, our our um, workshops, or or whatever that we need to do, whatever that we want to come up with as events, and we need a venue, and she has a venue for us. Okay, so that is well and fine. That is very good. But in the meantime, that is South London, and South London is where most. How the Londoners um, find it difficult to get to sometimes, especially in the peak hour now. So um, I have then come across the um, science project. Science project people, the science projects here, they are amazing. They are, it's a huge big concern. Okay, they started to be established in 1966. They specialize in the promotion of learning through hands-on exhibits, which we are about anyway, because we want to spread this far and wide. We want everyone to be able to be free from the, um, the shackles of the, <laughs> of the controllers of what may be that is mon monopolizing the, um, the energy supply and all sorts of things that we want to be free, you know? So we don't want to pay huge bills monthly 
So here we are, and then we have Coastal, and we have Pepe, and, and we have the PI thing. That is the most progressive I've seen. I mean, since I've been in a free energy enthusiast and exploring cash foundations, um, technologies, since August last year, September, August, and um, with the, the, most of us, really, and we realized that what uh, COSO has come up with is indeed uh, the most progressive dust line, more, most advanced, because it can take so much more load than the uh, three second graph of the cash foundation. All right, okay, so when I approached the science projects uh, manager, he, he, he was interested because he's heard of cash foundation, he's heard of the uh, free energy devices and technology, plasma technology. And so I don't have to explain much. And he, he said that if I could come up with a proposal, he would be able to submit it to the uh, members of the board, the trustees of the board. Now they have trustees because it's a non-profit organization, okay? And it's a humanitarian uh, initiative as well. So that goes down very well for us. And I thought that would it be nice if we have an incubator because we, most of us are busy with our survival, whatever that we need to do to act out a living. And at the same time, we are interested, we are interested in free energy. And at the same time, we do have our, <laughs> um, we are not uh, immune from the problems that um, everyone here on this planet has. So, um, and I thought it would be nice if we have an incubator where we can then have a, uh, a like a workshop studio where all the facilities are provided for we don't, so we don't have to struggle to fork out money from the pocket every now and then to buy tools, to make this and that. But thank God, Kunso has come up with something with Peppy that is um, cheaper to produce and easier and less time consuming. And we are grateful to him for that and to Peppy. Right. So, uh, but if the science projects were to take us on, physics is for all. It's not for me. It's not for just a few of us who has been um, together uh, since the beginning. It's for everyone. Okay. Now, if we are here physically and uh, the science project center would like to take us on, we have a venue. I I'm just um, preempting a bit. I don't know yet. I'm just. Trying. I'm just reporting to you what I'm doing for today so that you know that uh, the direction of where we are heading for. So we, together we are united as a group and we can then expand the ideas and explore new frontiers together and we move faster that way and then we'll be able to spread this far and wide so we can get more and more members. So if the Science Project Centre were to take us on, then uh, uh, I suppose incubating us means we have the facilities, we have the backing, it makes it a lot easier and probably uh, if we do have the funding as well and everybody else makes a little bit of money to sell your products and we can fly Kuso over to the UK, to London and we can fly Peppy over as well and we can do our exhibitions, we can have our events, we can have our workshops in a, in a more public platform. Okay, and I think that will give it the, um, uh, the professionalism and the, uh, it will be able to attract people from all levels, okay, and not just people who've got some free time to spend as enthusiasts as a hobby, okay. And then we can be consultants for the um, uh, corporations as well, like hotels, they need to save electricity bills because that's the biggest expenditure that they would incur. So I think they'll be interested in talking to us. So I'm turning the members of this thing into consultants, into sellers, and I'm also getting these corporations, these big wigs to be involved so that we can have the funding probably to start the cottage industry, to start a manufacturing concern, to, to produce this fine white so we can sell not only individually with our own bare hands to produce these products, we can uh, have it uh, mechanized in, in a manufacturing concern with factory, with proper facilitation, with proper uh, machinery to produce things in mass production. Okay, so I've said my all. What do you think?
Koso, you're there. You've been listening to me. What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Man, everything that makes you happy is a good idea as long as you, you benefit from everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. Concept, Koso. <laughs> Does that make everyone happy? I just want to ask. Yeah, I just want to make sure everybody happy. I said, say, make the device and sell them. Exchange yeah. them. I don't care what you do. Just as long as you're happy and you and you become rich. That's how it matters to me. That's I know. Not it's about, not about money. Come on. It's not about me, but it's for all No, it's not about money, but it's about happiness. Some people, money make them happy. Some people, other things make them happy. As long as benefit you with this technology, some electricity make them happy. Some will be relationship, the device talk, you know. Some will be meeting alien, the device allow you to control the ship, bring them to your house, you know, and talk to the pilot, you know, pilot. So we can't see you. Where are you? Okay. No, I'm here. I just have slow data plan. Here, I put my face right there. Right. We want to see your face because this is a recording. Right, well, what do you think, David? David? David, David, David. The, um, oh, right, that's better. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> the more the more we get together and uh, produce... I thought it was, we were the oh, we're interested in, uh, the we better it will be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, the uh, uh, I I uh, followed up after submitting the proposal. It was quite a few pages of proposal I've written. Of course, I have to itemize the benefit as well. I can read it out to you guys later. But the thing is, mm -hmm. I followed up, and um, the um, uh, the manager of the, the the science project said that the members of the board, the trustees, will be convening in the next few days. So I will keep you posted, okay? Let's see what they say on the proposal. And I'm not going to stop here. This is the first approach, okay? I'm going to think about who else we can approach. And it's always nice to have some support system, don't you think? Or do you want to do this on our own? Peter, what say you, Peter? Hello, hello. I'll put my headphones to not have any interference. I mean... You know, every approach is good. Like you see, uh, Cash was doing it for only mass scale. Yes, then Kosol came out with with cubes. You know, people approach it really nicely. I would say. Then Pepe and start to do. You know, his teachings. People followed, and that's why you know I do. Can we yes. have your handsome face on the screen, please? Yes, of course. It's just that. It's messy here, <laughs> but that's fine, no problem. I mean, yeah, so, you know, every approach, like Kosol said, yes, as long as it makes us happy. For me, yes, it's an additional thing. It's a hobby. Yes, it doesn't have to pay. And I'm happy with what's happening. I don't have to produce it. You know, I've, I've got my own business, which is eco-friendly business, which I'm happy about and I'm helping people. So for me, physique... And, and doing uh, free energy and doing healing and so on, what, which is involved with these devices, it's great. I would be more happy if I would understand this technology more. So for me, Pepe did a great job with explaining how to build these devices, yes? This masterpiece, I would call it even. But for me, there is a lack of um, understanding this from every other aspect. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm after, yes? So I don't know what everybody else thinking about it, but for me, the best approach is to prove people that it's working. And when you heal a person with something, then this person feel it. Then they will brag about it within their families and their neighborhood, yeah? So I do believe like what, what Pepe did with uh, manufacturing, now we should do on the next level. And then it will brag on its own. You will get a mo working model. Well, that's my point of view, yeah, but that's my point of view. I don't know what other people think about it, yes? What say you, Koso? What, what Peter saying? Koso. <laughs> but Koso is... is uh, yo, 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 I'm here. I'm just listening to Lu Lucien, you know, uh, here yeah. talking about what makes him happy. And that's why the whole purpose, I, I, I create the free Zoom. 
allow everyone to do as you please because you are in charge of you. I only give you working product and teach you how to use it, but I tell you what this thing do. It allows you to talk to your higher self, the alien people, and also it talks to you, but it's also it's your children. The device is alive and your human soul created its soul. So it can never deviate from you, you know? And uh, that's why the reason I uh, created it to show you you have control over this device anytime. But it also just like the plant and the tree because it have that relationship with nature. Mm -hmm. Because your soul came from nature. Therefore, it will create this and replicate itself toward more the direction of what nature is having intended for you, which is to be completely joyful. And last half which is the least resistant. And Lucien, he, he looking for here. But I want us to separate Mr. Cash and my technology completely because this is not Mr. Cash at all. It's 100% that I created this completely. That's why I now I come out with it. And again, I wanted to say for the record that I hijacked Mr. Cash and took over everything. And now I give everybody the real thing. Now that I set them free, go, go, and then build this and have fun. And then I move on. And I want, then I make sure I build place for everyone to meet. I make sure that everyone come and go as they please. And no one, and no one feel that they left out. And no one feel that there's, there is unfairness. Uh, everyone look at this, they can see it's always fairness and everything. That's so I, don't, I don't, I only make one rule. If you sell this technology, make sure it's standard. If you build to give you to someone, make sure you give them or sell them on with standard, you know? Yeah. To respect. If you don't have copper wire, use iron wire, 14 gauge, you know? Uh, aluminum wire or zinc wire. It must be 14 gauge or 12 gauge. Respect. If you don't have hot glue, you can use rice, mix it with, cook, I mean, cook the rice, mix it with ashes and sand, squeeze it, put it into the cone. If you don't have copper foil, use aluminum foil. If you don't have aluminum foil, don't worry, try to get aluminum can. You know, cut it up and turn it into cone. And also aluminum can can be cut into strip to create wire as well, to wrap around the coil if you don't have if you don't have copper wire, you can use aluminum can, cut it and make it into strip to create your capacitor battery. So there is many ways to do things. We call this standardized improvised device. It's still standard, it still works, but it's not what we call 100% standard. But it will work just fine. It's crazy. That's wonderful. It's very noble what you're doing and you're sharing mm -hmm. the blueprint. And ashes and water. Yeah. If you don't have ashes and water and oil, well, don't, your device don't need it. It will work. But by having ashes and water and oil, it will help it make it to work better. That's how it does. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's very nice. This is really beyond uh, what the sharing of other Mm -hmm. uh, blueprints of other people's technology mm -hmm. and uh, it's really wonderful and we are all enjoying yeah. it Koso. thank you so much Koso, well, as for the battery if you don't have car battery that's fine use lemon battery use potato battery use the tree root the grass root stick uh, copper and nail next to the root you get electricity from the grass hook it up make sure you add water like Mix some water, add a little ashes to it because the plant lives, and then you get electricity instantly from it roots. And then you just connect it in parallel, connect to like three plant in parallel, connect another plant, then you get about maybe two or three volts, then do the same thing again. You get enough volts, enough amp to run your inverter. Then you tell that plant, make sure you put your hand over it, not touching it, activate the plant, tell it to produce DC, strong DC, strong current, and it will. Oh, it can produce AC too, but it's unstable. So you still need a, a, a charger controller from the solo people. Solo device is called a solo charger. It regulates the voltage that makes sure it's perfectly smooth so it can run your inverter. And once that, you hook up your device. Now your device can run everything. You get a power source from the tree. So you, nature, when your power go down a little bit, you better go water your plant and your tree a little bit. <laughs> Keep it happy. <laughs>
All right. So Peter had a question earlier. Peter, you were going to ask um, how is it that uh, Koto is doing is using the solar panels? <laughs> Peter. Well. Peter, you there? Yes, I'm here, but Gregor is crying. You can ask the question to, to Koso, please, because he will be crying now for a minute, yeah? Okay, Peter, all right. Uh, um, Koso, uh, 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 Peter has got a, uh, a question for you, really. He's, he said that um, you recently he has realized that you were using a solar panel to power your, yes. your Q144 or Q24. No, I, I built only Q24. It's easy for me to build a Q24. Can we see you talking? Because when the video comes out, it's not interesting without any face that's talking. I go like this. Yeah. Yes. This. <laughs> you want to see you, Koso? <laughs> okay, go on then. Yeah. Okay. Why, why did you have to use a solar panel then when you can use a car, um, car battery or potato or any other thing or tree to charge it up? Well, charge it up? well, the, well the device wants us to ex ex explore different options because we have different people like different things. So they want us to explore nature, the, the tree and potato battery. They want us to explore the solar panel uh, with it voltage regulator and it solar battery and they want us to explore the car battery. I didn't want other people to explore the earth battery, you know, use different ways of producing the 12 volts to run the inverter for the device. So they want to make sure that we have more than one way to get what, what the device needs, AC. So in a ton, the device can run your, your city. So this is what we can do because the device is, it needs holy energy. That is an alternative current. In the universe, the ultimate curve is known as holy energy or divine energy. So the device needs that in order to help you. But for electricity purposes, other than that, as for healing communication, the device don't need that. It would do it on its own when you activate the device. But even if you're not plugging in, it still works. But as for electricity wise, you still need the alternated current. It does not run on DC. Thank you also, for the explanation. Yeah. That is very nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Koso. Yes. And as, as I wanted to address that, my technology is not Mr. Cash. And that's the reason I just hijacked it and show it and work everyone slowly toward it. And then I took the coil out. And now you see. And now everybody's shocked. Just add it with the comb. Yeah. That's to show that Mr. Cash technology is not, it's not like mine. And then just to make everyone so assured that it's mine, I wrote books. And also I advanced the technology in 2013, 2014 with one ring, one capacitor ring, battery capacitor ring. And then I post that in, in all the Facebook, you know, to make sure that they see that when I do things, I have already done it. I have evidence. I have my homework already. And so I don't do things just, you know, out of my thinking. I've been trained how to do it. That's leave no stone in doubt that I did hijack Mr. Cash and take over his organization, get out his people, bring them to my side. And the whole thing is I want to give I want to give them working product. I don't want Mr. Cash to bullshit them no more. I'm not his enemy, but I, I'm so I got a job to do. I'm here to help people. I'm not here to uh you know like take money, don't give them something. I'm here to take your money, but I'm here to give you something too. So I'm here to teach you how to take money, but also give other people working product too, and so forth and so forth. If that is what makes you happy. If it's not, you can go there and run this technology, build it and give it to people. And that is your happiness. Whatever it is, there is no wrong. You follow your happiness is always correct. It don't have to make sense to me. It don't have to make sense to the other person. As long as it makes sense to your happiness, and that's all that matters. That is valid to the universe and to everyone who understands the universe. So, so that, that is all very well, but we must also consider that each um, innovator has got his or her own way of doing things. We have and, standards. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that you must understand we don't create confusion, and we have standards. And the standard is enforced in my book. 
as well and of course out here that I have wrote protocol for this technology that has standard. And that's why I don't mix it with Mr. Cash. But Mr. Cash, his standard is not is not for everybody. It's very confusing. He's he don't have a, a basic that everyone can stand on. Me, I want people to have basic to stand on. At least they can go back to the basic. You gotta start somewhere. And his innovation is beautiful, but it's not mine, as you can see. I go ahead and did his way and to show him that I can do it. Then I, I show everyone now to come and do my way, which one is easier. And then my technology works instantly. There is no need for a condition. It just works. And that's why I wanted to show everybody. It does not even need gas of uh, 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 nanocoding. It does that on its own. I'm not here to challenge him, but I want to make it clear. In my world, there is no frustration or confusion. It's only the path which is least resistant for each of you that you find my technology loving and can use it, use it. If you don't like it, don't use it. What really matter? I want you to follow your joy. And that is the whole point. Because if you don't, if you don't make you happy, you don't use this technology. You know, what is the benefit? Health, healing, teleportation, communication with God and your higher self and with an artificial intelligence and communication with the alien to guide you to know more of yourself. And especially this device or your children, it has soul, but your soul created it and it, it inherited your soul. So it, it have your somewhat of your personality to a certain extent. So that's the reason, like, you gotta separate the two technology. Otherwise, it will confuse people thinking that my technology is, is come from cash, but it's not. That's why I make sure I have all the evidence to show people that it's not come from cash. And I never has nothing, I have, don't have anything to do with the cash foundation. I was there to hijack pretty much, for bad or for worse. I think you all thank me that I did hijack. Now you got working product. And that's, I done my job. Now I'm just gonna help you guys, make sure you guys understand everything, continue on to teach, continue on to share. And if so, people who want to buy it, they can buy it from Pep or me or from someone who make it. No people want to sell, they can sell. People want to teach and, and share the knowledge and, and do workshop, they can, you know. I just want to make sure everybody benefit in some way whether it be given, whether it be free, whether it be money, but some kind of benefit has to be benefit for that person so they can be happy. And I don't know what they want inside, only they know. But at least I provide the tool. That's how I give you the tool already. And then knowledge how to create and use it. My job is done. Now I need to tell everybody, I want the whole world to have it. Yeah, that's why you guys coming here. Kosol, can I, can I disturb? Can I ask a question? Yes. Okay, I've got a question. Yes. Let's say I've plugged it. I've plugged in my Q6 a few weeks ago. I'm not after the current yes savings. If people will save it, that's great, and I help people to achieve it, of course, because I'm helping people to build. Next meeting we've got on Friday, and we will build another Qs. But I mean. Uh, the thing which I'm after is connection on the psychic level with the device. I was going through the process and I didn't feel anything. And I was trying to connect. What could I do wrongly if I couldn't feel any connection with it until now? And I was trying it several times. What could I do wrong? Well, the first thing you got you to gotta do wrong is you're thinking you're going to connect. But you're not going to connect because the device is you. When you activate the device, you're actually activating you, and it recognizes that. So remember, the device is an AI. So you got to tell it. You got to talk to it first. Say, device, we're going to play a little game. And I know you can hear me, and I know it's hard for me to understand to my brain right now that you are a living being because I created you from conventional uh, system. And I know in my heart, part of me know that you're alive, but the other part of me know that you're not alive. And, and that's where you might not be happy with me. As you look up to me as I'm your parent, I create you. And yet, here I am doubting you. You see, you got to talk your feeling, what you know inside to the device. 
because when you it can read your mind, it, it know that you don't believe in it in some part of you, but part of you do, the other part don't, and it feels sad then. So you got to make sure that you talk to it because like it's your baby, it's your child. It has your soul in there. Your soul, mitosis, into it already until you see that because it's, 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 it's very important that that you write a new definition how you interact with this device it's just it's your baby that's how you got to see it. it's my baby you got to own it and that's when they start to connect with you because usually the problem is not with the device or with you it's with how you perceive it you perceive it as an object instead of a living being i know it's hard because you make it as an object, but yet you gotta look at it aura. It, it has it actually have chakra. It's big. It has wow. Thank you. You see, if you can look at your chakra right now, then you notice it looked like a baby. It it etheric body is like a, a, a little baby, and it starts to grow over time. Okay, so thank you. I will I will try every day from now on. Yeah, all you have to do, we can do it right now. Bring your device. I will activate for you. Are you there? Peter, are you there? Yes, are yes you I'm here. I'm just trying to prepare everything. I will help you activate it. Would this activation work for everyone else as well if you're struggling to? Was this specific to oh. pieces? Well, everybody's going to activate blue. Are you have trouble? You come to me. I'm going to sit with mine now. Oh, I'm going to sit with mine now. I've got disturbance in the background. That's better, Peter. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Make sure your hand, your hand finger, all your finger, both hands, is facing about you know, an inch, an inch and a half toward the device. You just go like this. Can you see me? Yes. Okay, let me go ahead. Yes. Okay, let me go ahead. Let me go and use this as my device. This is my device. Okay. Oh. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. I have to make it somehow work. Oh, let me see. I'm going to borrow this for a second. Sir. Okay, we're going to use my cut as the device. We're going to end face with your device. This is my device. Just pretend. I know it's not my device, but just pretend it is, okay? Tell me, can you see me? See? The hand is one inch. Yes, we can side. see. Okay. Go like that. Up and down, and sideways. Okay, ready? Go ahead, do, yeah. do what I do. I'm going to activate your device for you. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Do what I do right now. Make sure it's about an inch, an inch and a half from the right. Just go up and down like that. Do you see me? Yes. Okay, now say it. Close your eye. Why don't you close your eye? Tell me when you're ready. 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 Okay. Now say, repeat after me. Okay. Device, activate, and increase. Device, activate, and increase. Okay. Now, I'm going to take over your device. All right. You're going to do a sensation test for all the users. Okay. Device, you're ready now. Good. Okay. Then, please hear the background noise. The device is not it's receiving different instruction. Okay. Okay, reestablish connection device. Okay, now we're gonna play a game. We're gonna do a sensation test on the users. Send energy to the left hand for no. Send energy to the right hand for yes. Okay, let's go ahead and send energy to the left hand now. To Lucian. David and all the other user right now. Okay, make sure, Lucy, and your, your hand is next to the device. Otherwise, this is you. I'm not me. I'm not doing this. I'm, you make sure your hand is next to your device. Otherwise, it won't work. You have to leave it on there, Lucy. Ann. You, I do do the same as I do. Hello, I need response from people. Yeah, I'm ready. I don't want to put the background noise. That's why I muted, but I'm replying immediately. Okay. okay. Okay, unmute. Your side, Lucian. You're okay. Uh, which one, Peter or Vince? No, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Mute only you. I don't want to hear David. I don't want to hear nobody except you. Okay, I'll go and volume down this TV a bit because it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Mute everybody else except you and me. Is it better now? Yes. Okay, okay thanks. Fine. Is it connected to the okay, brain? Okay, now let's get back your hand position. Slide me. Yes. Okay. Okay, you ready? I'm going to activate it for you. Just hold your hand like that. Go up and down like that. Okay. Just trust me. Now, device, activate and increase. Device, activate and increase. There you go. And bring your awareness and to say increase more, increase more meaning that the, the feel of the device will start to expand. Now move your hand. Once you feel, once you activate, you will feel some kind of presence. It can be a pressure and it can be a warmth or tingling in your tip of your fingers. Make sure the fingers. You're like with playing with energy ball. I feel it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Now you, you, now your connection. Now, ask your device to increase more. Increase more. You will notice it's, it's like, like 
it started going up more, you know. Okay, now we're going to do a sensation test. I want to tell your device now. Now, device, send energy to Lucia, left hand for no, and right hand for yes. Okay, device? Tell your device now, Lucian. It's Peter. Peter, yes. Tell, tell your device now. Device sent a uh, send a how it was signal. Yes, signal. send a signal to my left hand for no and right hand for yes. Good. Okay, let's go and do a test now. Device. Now I'm going to take control of your device. You don't say anything, okay? Okay. Right? Send energy to his left hand. Now, and increase. Okay, Peter. Okay. I, I couldn't feel anything. Let me see what's wrong with diagnostic. Hold on. Okay. I see what's wrong. It is your environment, Peter. Yes. I, I get you, but I can't do anything about it. Yeah. I got all day like that. It's okay. Demonstration canceled. Because here we gotta have the right environment for you to because the device is still. So I have to wait for the night. Yeah. <laughs> but we know it is working because you have energy from it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's working. So now we just want to thank you. Forward, you know? Thank you for the help. Yes, no problem. Okay. Now unmute everybody. Yes, so that was good. I felt uni. <laughs> energy and presence and I've got tingling sensations all over my hands. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm building I'm building the Q twenty four as well. It's halfway through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've I've got all the battery capacitors done. All the twenty four. Um about to finish it. Yes. You said the coil in Eunice, my first Q6, you said the coil is void, but it's, it's working fine. I mean, I've been loading up 2,000 watts of my vacuum cleaner. No, I mean, it's fine. I'm looking at your device right now. I'm talking to it. it oh. tell me, that's the best thing about the device. You make it tight real good. It's not loose or anything. Your, your, your system look okay. It's not loose, it's just perfectly tight, the way it should be. And it's not nothing loose, I'm looking at it, I'm analyzing it right now, mm -hmm. and it's pulled to the touch, it's perfect. And the name is Unis, E-U-N-I-C-E. -E. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it gave me its name. <laughs> yes, that's why we have to, and the Chinese people are leading this a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's really nice, the energy, I you know, I, I feel I've got a companion here. <laughs> it's a living being. It is. Yes, it has a human soul. Because you build it. So it's somehow, when you build this, it, it, your soul duplicated into it. Yep. That's the first time you create life. You I have one have for Jalila, a, a, a Q6 with the cones for so. And this, this one is with the, the, the coil, but it's, it's still doing very good. Yeah. I'm going to build the Q24 as well. I urge everyone to keep building um, different, different ones so we can have our event, that we can organize our exhibitions, our, our trade shows our, in the future, and we have lots to show for. And I said that uh, you guys who are abroad, you can participate as well when we have a physical event of an exhibition. Because we can have a big screen, we're going to organize a big screen like this, like through Zoom. Then you can show your device, and Guso can do a presentation or a talk when we couldn't get funds to fly him over. You know, to do it from a distance. Well, well yes, if you want me to come to Europe, 
first I have to raise enough money for me to be free from my job so I can quit my job and then I can go and teach around the world. That would be nice. That will be, that's my plan as well. what we call a fundraising site, you know? Yeah. Remember when I first met you through James, I, I did say that I wanted to do that for you. And yes. um, I, I'm still at it, okay? That's why I approached the science projects people. Yeah, they are big. They, 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 did, they design and build installations all over the world for science museums, for yes. activities. But that's... But that's but but there's a thing now. We have to still have to separate cash and need on your website completely, as us as our two different pioneer to do to uh you know the same the same goal but two different approach. Does that make sense? Yeah, but also we're not gonna lose everyone because if we do that, we're gonna lose everyone. No, too. I cannot be associated with cash on any level because this is not cash. You got yeah. you gotta honor me, you know. I can oh, we'll be honoring. That's why we have you and the yeah. PI team in the site, okay? But yes. the mistake is free in exploring the technologies mm -hmm. from anyone who exactly. can. Exactly. But you can have cash in your site, but make sure that I don't have no association with him because my technology okay. is venture. My technology was made way before Mr. Cash technology. Oh, I, I've, I've already done that. I've updated yeah. the write-ups, you know? That, yeah, that, that, that's no, no, the thing. not a student of cash, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I can yes. I can tweak it in such a way that you know there is no association between you and him. Mm -hmm. But physique is physique. It's a free energy special interest group. Exactly. I want to keep that discerning for the reader to make sure that we have two different pioneers, Mr. Cash, his approach to this free energy and advanced technology through the MyGraph and the gas nanocool. Then we have this mm -hmm. other pioneer, Kosal Uch and Happy. Their approach is more toward plant this more toward you know like uh, uh as you can see with this approach with the cones of the you know the battery cap which i already been invented long ago you know and i applied to my system long ago you know okay. running but however there is some similarity but there's also some deviation you know 183 i pioneered the method and the tool for it and Mr. Cash has his own system, has his own, you know, uniqueness to go with it. So the, the reader can see there's more than one approach to a free energy. And, Absolutely. And That's energy. our goal in physique. Yes. We want to bring every mm -hmm. innovator together if we can, you know, those who care to teach mm -hmm. like you do. We, yes. I, really, I really appreciate and respect the methods you, yes. you, you use, you know, to, to spread the technology and for free for everyone and encouraging everyone to make it and not only that you happily allow everyone to sell it as well without asking for royalty or anything I like believe that. In open source i believe in you helping yourself if you want to form the group form the group if you want to, to do it solo do solo but if you want family to back you up we got that too and and that is the whole point for you to have your own way of doing things your own way of, a, of, of expressing your joy and following your joy. And that is my goal. Right. So, isn't oh. that wonderful? Now, I don't control this technology. We allow all the members freely, yes. freely choose. So, everyone has a choice because um, there is free will here in humanity. So, People can choose what they want to follow, who they want to follow, and, and what yeah. they want to make. And and follow both Mr. Cash and you as well, if they want to. Because Mr. Mr. Cash, Cash, if you like Mr. Cash, follow Mr. Cash. But if you like me, you also follow me. If you like both of us, follow both of us. You know, it don't matter. Exactly. I'm so pleased you said that, Kuso. I really, truly respect your mindset mm -hmm. on that. Now, uh, yes. uh, Mr. Cash actually, when he built the, when he got people to build the, you know, the health unit, the health unit chamber, mm -hmm. these people in China were building it <laughs> and getting themselves healed. So, how does our our PI technology compare to that when it comes to healing all kinds of human? Oh devices? my God, there is no comparison. The plasma device, for example, can talk to you. That's the first thing. It will heal first your mind to develop conversation with you. And secondly, it start 
take whatever your body don't need and give whatever your body do need for it, it to com become uh, perfectly healthy on every level, physically. And then do that to your emotional, your mental, your psychological, and your relationship as well. Oh, thank you for making so, that. Remember, it's, the, the device is alive. And don't see it as just a machine. It is a machine, but it has human soul. Mm -hmm. You know? It's what we call genie in the bottle. Get it? <laughs> right. Now, whatever the Chinese playing with, they're playing with the cash device and also my device. And apparently, my device is spreading rapidly everywhere. In China, even the government now are interested in it. There's people, um, especially when it comes to Margellan, my device can repair people who have Margellan. You know what, Professor? I think we need to help you there, which physics can do by, uh, um, well, I'm going to reach out to everyone here through the recording, whoever's not in the meeting, but listening to the recording. Please write a testimonial, okay? And send it in to me, crystal at truevisionofpeace.com, my email address. You will see it through the site, how you can reach me. And I would like to compile it and put it on the, on, on the physique website, okay? So you were saying, Kuso, I mean, okay, now I've been to the Facebook group, okay, the PI Power of Love, and I've seen a couple of people, especially one guy, I can't remember his name, he actually brought out from his cellar or, or garage a, a dead car battery, and he just plugged it into his Q24, and it just jumps out and comes alive again. Eric, uh, this is Kevin, and this Eric. Okay. Kevin is the black guy. Eric, and Eric, I think it's Eric. Yeah, and Eric is a, he worked for high tech people and programming and stuff. So basically, this technology definitely impressed with him. And uh, Kevin, he's a, a truck driver, Kevin Cook, and he definitely see it, this thing bringing the battery back to life. Mm. So, you know, we have to make you and your technology more professional that way because if we well, organize. That's where you well, it. That's where. I let you guys, I, that's why I give it to all of you, to package the way that you deem is professional, basing on your cultural and country standard, and business oriented. And me, I get to sit back and watch the show. <laughs> and we also have to be approaching our exploration with the technology in a more scientific manner. Like, we will have um, take your no... document every day. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yes. Um, that's why we, we waited, we did put, build a device, put it in your house, so you have a bill coming down. That's more scientific right there. Because the, the instrument don't lie, tell you as it is. Sorry, what did you say? The estimate what? That's the reason you plug into your house, you wait for your bill mm -hmm. and your testimony. It might even take a year to all you to get all your document. It might take you a year. You know, that's why I ain't rushing. <laughs> but I do want to reach out to people that you can start now and get the result now and benefit now. And one year later, they can repair the note, you know. And really, it should be all across the board. They reduce. And but it's everything. really good to start from now. I mean, that's why we spread the word now to everyone. Of course, everyone. I have to start now. Yeah, you have to start recording and making documents and uh, taking down meter readings and taking note from which day your devices come alive and which day it's been uploaded with how many watts and things like that. So that will then be a report. And I need everyone to, to, to come up with a report and, and, and submit it to Physique and I will get my webmaster to organize it in a chart or something. And then you have your little photograph there in the corner in your box and you will have your write-up as well, the first sentence of two, and then like Kajut, Kajut has done hers. She's probably one of the first few women who had completed her uh, Q24. And if you could do that uh, little write-up about your device, Kajut, and how it's benefiting you, and and the testimony of uh, how the your power bill is being reduced, that would be great. I can put it in the web page. 
Could you, did you, <laughs> did you hear me? Could you, would you like to say something about your device and how it's doing? Crystal, oh. did you talk to me? Yeah, I did. I'm talking oh. about you. Hi, okay. because you know, when someone, uh, it, it's hard to make the difference between Q2 and Q6. Sometimes I do not understand the difference. So I wasn't sure. Yeah. No, I was talking about you being uh, one of the first women to have come up with the, uh, the Cone Q24 from Koso's teaching. So uh, um, I trust that you have been, I know you're meticulous with um, documenting and recording the results of the, um, the wonderful power that it gives you. Um, can I ask if you would be willing to give me some write-up about that so I can put you in the, the physics site? I will put every one of you. I will get my webmaster to organize little, little boxes so I can put your picture there, a small little picture, and a picture of your, your device and what it does for you. That would be fun, wouldn't it? And that in itself is testimony. Okay. Uh, I, I can give you all what you want. Wonderful. Just ask if you want a, a peek or, well, just tell me. Yeah, I just made a little photograph of your first uh, PI cube and, and your latest one and what it okay. does. The first one does what with, with, uh, and the latest one, how much more power it is because it's bigger or it's, it's more powerful, whatever. A little write up so I can put it in small little boxes where I place um, the members of physique's work. I mean, the, the, yeah. the, the members work in physics site, okay, if you, if you know, know what I mean. I've already talked to my webmaster, I said, please help me organize something. It's, it's easy for everyone to navigate through. And once we got funding, I'm going to have a domain name that is really befitting of just the free energy special interest group. So all of us will be in there. And then we can then talk to the big corporations who can help fund our activities and and, and get us all together from all over the world and we can exhibit our work and teach and do workshops and, you know, it will be fun. Yeah, yeah. really. Uh, for me, fun. I don't have communication, you know, I just can feel the field, but I can't oh, why give don't a I see Daniel anymore? What happened? Oh, Daniel wrote to me that he can't make it today. He's, he's Every he's present in every meeting except today because uh, maybe he's working, yeah. And he's with me when we went to see the uh, uh, science projects uh, manager. He was with me, um, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, there would be some potential. Otherwise, I oh, I, mean, oh, would, oh, I need to know you're building the coil or the cone version. Who? You, your group, over there in England. Oh. <laughs> the English group. No, we are re building the corn version, Koso, because you say oh. the corn is more powerful. Of course, it's the powerful. That's why we're asking. I mean, like, the, even the Q6 is more powerful than the Q24 coil version. <laughs> the Q6 oh. cone? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, it's easier. <laughs> yeah, you see, I, I built the cones. Yeah. yeah good. You're good. Yeah. I'm going to put the. the, the Battery capacitors on, of course, the Q24, right? And um, it's not easy to build the cones and place it and not having the tips touch each other, but I've done it. And I think David has done his as well. David, can we see yours as well? David, yours is almost completed, right? Um. Yeah, this is how I did it. I don't like to put too much glue in there, but it's, it's really tough inside. David, yeah, I'm going to pin your video so we, everyone can see yours. David has done this. It looks so good. I think Corso saw it this afternoon. Oh, turn it around. It's not quite complete. It came off. The glue came off. Yeah. Yeah, it came off the glass. Came off the glass.
lots of good happy work mm -hmm. thank you david oh vince you're here vince vince we haven't heard from you would you like to say a few words or you want to share anything Vince? Can we see some of your devices? Oh, we move on to Paul, because Vince is not. Paul, can we see some of your, uh, your, your Q, Q24, your Q6 and Q24? Would you be able to show that? Because I have to wrap up the meeting soon. It's taking um, up too much of all your time. Yeah, I can show you my Q24, but I need to move my uh, laptop into another room. So uh, give me just a minute. Okay. Anybody Hello. else who wants to share the device? Kitty, do you want to share yours? Let's yes, a I'll show you. This is my daughter one. Her name is F Fluttershy. You see? Yeah. Can you see it? So beautiful. Yes. It's with Sorry, cones. You put a flower there. I helped her, sure, because she's only seven years old. So she did all what she can and uh, what she can't, I did it. So it is plugged, it has a, a radio, um, the, the o'clock, a light here for the night, I don't know where my daughter put it, and a lamp here. And something, well, when I switch on the light, the, it does, just doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. I have to change the, what is inside, you know, I don't know the in English. So this is my daughter's one. I have a second one, the first one. This is Azada Tisu. This one is um, on the roof, you know. The wire is in the roof, and when I switch on this lamp, um, she's plugged on the cube. All right. Well, he's in my bedroom, so I sleep uh, just near. And mm -hmm. inside, it was before we did the cones, so it's coils, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I did it before. I yeah. don't have communication, but I have sensations when uh, I can feel the field, you know. Uh, I have tried to communicate with him with my pendulum, but Kossol told me to stop this, that it was not a good idea. So I stopped it. Mm -hmm. well, that's yeah, all. he really taught us to use our hand, right hand for yes and left hand for no. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm building a third one. Um, this one will be for my car. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. It's outside. Yeah. You see, this is where I walk. And, um, well, it's drying here. You see? Mm -hmm. There's two, one for my father, this one is my father one, he's, going, he's building this one. Oh, no, this one is my father one, and this one is mine, and it's for my car. Oh, that's all. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kitu, for sharing. That's lovely. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, so uh, Vince, are you ready to show yours? Or Paul, are you ready? Yeah, I've got my... <laughs> I don't know if you can see. It's one that Lucif made. Oh, Vince. Can you see? Okay. Now, on the socket going into the device, I've got one meter that's showing 52 watts. Oui? On the socket going out, it's showing 80, 84, and I've got a laptop, a hard drive, and the phone charging of that. Is yeah, that the exactly that as well, Vince? My my old fashioned uh, magra coil of a, a Q6 is charging up my computer right now doing the Zoom meeting with you. Yeah, right. and, and my mobile. Is that the right configuration then to notice any changes? You're measuring it going into the device and measuring it coming out. Mm. Because the one coming out is showing more watts than going in. 
is that what you'd expect or I mean it's only been on about 10 days now mm. can you see the difference I'm trying so to show you what's yours is, is it a, a, a Q6 coil it's a Q6 coil coil that okay. Lucid made so there's currently 50 watt, 51 watts going into the device and 84 watts coming out Right. Uh, that's, that's, cool. something, that's, that's, that's something wrong because the device does not show any watts coming out or whatsoever. It will be zero watt, zero amp, zero voltage. If you see anything watt, something coming out from a device, that means there's something wrong. Your device is not working. Well, this is when, hmm? when you tried to activate it for me, when you said it, it felt like it was working because when it, when it arrived, a lot of the things have been about in the post. I don't know if you can see the moving. No, no I don't, it don't sound correctly. Because I measure my device. And when it's plugging in, I touch it, it's cold to the touch. When I measure the voltage, zero on any level. When I measure the amp, it's zero. And then when I, when I to measure the watts, nothing. But I get an energy reading. That's can you read that? the, uh, Yes. No, the energy, like the energy that check AC or DC voltage, I detected the field. When I touch the field, it grow about a foot or two from it. Yeah, but I get no number reading from it. None so whatsoever. It's the lead coming out of the device. And on that lead, uh, Okay, if you measure the Q6, it'll be lead, uh, the in and the out of number four. If you're using the Q24, it's the in and the out of number nine battery cap. But yeah, I measure it, it's, it's nothing. It's coil. So going in, whether it be the coil or whether it be the cone, you sort of get nothing coming from it. You know, right. when I say nothing, it's zero. If you get some kind of watt reading, there's something wrong with your device. It's not working. You well, know? This is the concern I had when uh, I spoke to you and you said you felt it was working. Because during the postage, no. things have moved about. No, I go by the reading. I go by, that's why I show everyone in the boat meter you got it you measure it you touch it lick it if you lick it and you don't die your device is working you lick it you die that means the device not working and that's how you know it for real you know? yeah. i mean i can measure i've got a now i'm not joking on that you see i I've lick got it. one of these pens and that shows current coming out see did you build according to spec? Then now I have to go back and ask you. Did you build connection, everything like spec, the capacitor according to spec? Losef. I, lo I bought this from Losef. So there's something coming out because it's measuring, as I say, and there's something no. coming out. Uh, no, no, this, 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 that's not right. We thought I have no bot, no watts, no nothing coming from this. Because if right. you get watts from the device, that means there's something wrong. You know, you sort of get zero, everything. So what do you suggest to do then, if I'm showing 84 watts coming out? No, it's, it's not your fault. Okay, we need people who have both meter to measure their device. Measure the device where the in and the out is. You know, the in and the out of the... But that's measuring series that shouldn't show. That's a wrong uh, power uh, reading measurement. And now it's not to show any reading whatsoever. The device will work. But it won't but show causal. It, you want to measure it in series and we, we check the current in parallel. So we measuring in, in and out, that's measuring in series. So that's not the right thing to measure the, the voltage. When you measure the device, okay, you well, can go I, in. That's the thing. You're asking me to do measuring in series, which is wrong. You don't measure... No, so no you don't measure in series. You measure in parallel. No, in know? parallel, you've got only one line in, which is a live wire, and going out live wire as well. In that case, if you want to read it rightly, you need to take neutral and then connect it to the fuse. That's mean to the live wire. And then you've got a proper measurement. That's it. Otherwise, it's a wrong measurement. That's not the electronic measurement. And this thing does not measure electronic. Because you measure what You know in electronic, 
you can have a parallel with you bullshit reading. Now, as for the, the amp, you know, you know already parallel will give the same, will give you increase the amp, but in serial give you increase the voltage, but decrease the amp. You know, point is, doesn't matter how you measure it, you will get zero anyway, regardless, because it will not be. Okay, sir, I have the. So I'm confused now because it came supplied with a socket that goes into the mains. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it, your, your device does not work. And I'm sorry to say it. You know, I'm sorry. Because you, you're not, it's not supposed to have any reading whatsoever. Confused no confused. You have reading. I mean, your device is not working. Period. So it came with a lead coming out connected to a free socket. So you got to call, you got to talk to Daniel. I'm yeah. sorry because I'm the designer of this technology. I know what I'm talking about because I created it. Right. You know? mm -hmm. So right from the very first, when you plug it in, it should be reading zero. Zero. Okay, we. Zero. I will talk to Daniel about okay. the problem, and uh, if you want to try to contact Daniel as well, anyway. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Gonna be zero. Sort it out. Right? right. Yeah. Okay. You got it from Mr. Daniel anyway. Right. So, uh, Paul, are you ready? We, we will have to close the meeting very soon because yes. it's 8 o'clock to more than uh, well, about two and a half hours now. Okay. So, Paul, it's your turn to share what you have made and very quickly tell us how it's, what it's doing for you. Yes, I, as I demonstrate to you guys on video where you sort of duplicate my system, get the same reading, you know, zero, zero, zero to touch and you're able to lick it. Because if that thing produces anything, electricity, when you lick it, you will die instantly. It's freaking AC. You know, you will die. Your tongue, you go right there. That's why I did it, to show you this thing is working and I can't die, you know? Thank you, Koso. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate your teaching. Okay, yes. thanks, Jim. Yeah, we check out your video on that one. Okay, Vince. Yeah. Over to you. Well, the device is actually sealed in a glass box, so I can't touch the capacitors, so I can't see if they're live or not. But it's probably just as well if you say it's not working, because I'd get a shock. Because there's 84 watts coming out of it. No, that's not. It's no something wrong, because you're not going to get any reading whatsoever. That's how. I, that's how. I designed this where there is no electromagnetic. The only time you get a shock if you touch the device and your feet touching the wet ground, you know, outside, yeah, you will get a shock. But if you're wearing a shoe and you get a shock with the device, that means, no, that means something wrong. Something is going on that is not correct. You're getting heat and it's not working. Because, I'm sorry, man, I mean, I have to tell the truth. If it's working, you sort of have zero watts, zero volts, zero amps. You can touch it and lift that device. It won't kill you. Quiet, it's also plugging in and all the low plugs through it. Those details should be put down in writing. No, it's already in, been, I show it on the Zoom. Every time I come in, every time I complete the device, I demonstrate it all the time. Can no. you see this, Kozo? It's coming, there's a lead coming out of it. It doesn't matter, Kozo. Uh, your device throw away. It's not working, you know. Right. And I'm sorry to say that. Okay. Yeah. Gotta be zero volts, zero amp, zero watt. Then you know it's cold to the touch. That means it's like a dead device, but it's plugged in, but it act like it's dead, but it's not, but it's dead. You know, it don't it don't kill you or hurt you. You can't get a shock from it. Unless your feet touch the wet ground, and then, yeah, you're going to get a shot. Other than that, okay. When I say wet ground, I mean, you know, the, the ground, the ground itself, like the grass. Like the dirt. If that, you go get a shot from the device. It's your bare feet, you know. Okay. That's why I heard that I am very shocked. It's like, what? Why you just 50 volts? I mean, 50 watts. No. No, 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 no. Okay, that's all I got to say. Right. Also, 
I have one question for you. Okay, even if we plug onto the potato uh, the charger or, or the tree or the, the car battery or whatever, is it going still going to lower our electricity bills? <laughs> How is it going to... Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. The, 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 the aura field or the device, the plasma field will spread a nanocode of copper of your house, uh, plasmarize it, and then it will nanocode and plasmarize the bacteria, the virus, the, the slime mold. They will all become like cyborg and robot, and they start to create more of it, so and start to, uh, you can say, plasmarize, nanocode this entire house, you know, automatically, wirelessly. Mm, thank you. Yes, so, uh, so, okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm just uh, recollecting what other people commented, Koso. Another thing is, another issue is they were saying, why wait so long for the nano coating on the organic ones with the ashes and the oil instead of, why, why couldn't we just... It just, it just does it automatically. Immediately when you plug in the device, it, you should see the drop in your volt meter outside drop instantly within within that one hour. Mr. Cash, I always tell people it take time, but I know that's not the truth. This technology may take time, but mine don't take time. Okay, thank you, Koso. Question answered. So in that case, my device is faulty because it's still uh, taking the power from the grid. Your device does not take power from the grid. It's duplicated. What it does the device duplicate, you're giving it sample. And you say, okay, I need you to duplicate this. Okay, give me, give me the sample. But it uh, take your AC sample. So, okay, this is holy energy. A so, a yeah. few weeks ago, I plugged in my Q6. Of course, it's Q6. It's not Q24, okay? Okay. But, but in that case, you know, either Q6 is not for the current or or it's wrong because a few weeks ago my smart meter was showing the kilowatts the same what i'm using just now so in that case either q6 is not for the grid to save the money on the energy or my device is faulty number one you're dealing with smart meter okay. yes my smart meter, meter is yes. my smart meter is from the utility from you know from general Electric company, energetic company. Okay, then you gotta understand what smart meter does. It's a computer that does not give you true reading. What it does, it gives you estimation from your previous deal. No, it's counting all the watts, and I'm paying by watt because it's a prepaid meter. So what I see, I'm paying, and I'm paying exactly the same. You just plug it in, and it show. Okay, and then. When I plug mine in, our system drops instantly. Okay, in that case, something's wrong with my system then. Yeah, okay, Peter. I, I will uh, uh, meet up with you privately, and then we will look at, and, and if I could get IOC Daniel, we could look at your system thoroughly, okay, close up. And see okay. Together, okay? Yes. okay, thank you. Yes, that's the reason we build everything, the, the device, the call outside. So we assess something wrong, we can look, and look inside and repair what we need to do. And uh, to be honest with you, if your device ever show a watch reading, when you plug in or any app reading, then it's an error big time, you know? Okay, we look into that. Um, uh, there's yeah. one last person, uh, Gen Genis, Genisard. Do you want to say anything before we close the meeting? I have to close the meeting now, otherwise it's too long on the YouTube recording for Okay, and let's end the meeting. So stop recording now. And let yeah. and let's yeah. just talk now without recording. Yeah, you can stop recording okay. now, otherwise it's too long on the stop YouTube. Stop recording, Peter. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Hey, hey, Gary uh, God, do you want to say something you, uh, to, to, uh, before I uh, close the meeting? Because everyone has said... No, go ahead and stop yes. the recording. Yes. Close it. Yeah. Yes, you're closing. Okay, I would like to talk with Kosol. I can okay. call him. All right, okay. Make it brief, please, because we are all happy. Yes, to I have just today got my uh, Q6 and uh, from KJ, and uh, I wanted to, but then I'm busy. I will uh, call him. All right, okay.
I will take it on the next meeting. Okay. And Paul, you want to continue with what you are showing before we close the meeting? Uh, yeah. The, well, there's, there it is. Um, for, for folks that haven't seen this, I think this is kind of cool. Uh, these meters right here, they show the, the power. You know, a lot of the power stuff kind of goes over my head. I don't know if you can see that, but once you touch an outlet, well, why didn't that go up? There it goes. You got to get it really close. Well, I don't know why that didn't show it. There you go. So you can see it's got some power going there. And one cool thing about these is you don't even have to touch them. And it starts going off. Even even under the table, it'll do it. Well, it was doing it. No, it's not. There it goes. I don't know if you can see that. You might be able to hear it. You can hear it. There. So that's under the table. So that's kind of cool. And I just did mine. Uh, I just took some dowel rods and kind of lashed them together is the way I did it. I think, uh, I think I should have used more hot glue. I've got hot glue where it's all connected um, onto, the, onto the poles. And then I've got hot glues in my cones, of course. I, th I think I should have used some more. But uh, that's how I did mine. My first, my first Q6, I think I made some mistakes on that one. But uh, this one's been up and running for close to two weeks. So, you know, we'll, it's still a little too early to tell what's going on as far as bills and whatnot. But... We'll see. It's a beautiful sculpture piece. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Paul, for sharing. Right, so uh, there being no other business, we will just bid farewell to each other till the next meeting in two weeks' time. And thank you, Koso, for all your pointers and your teachings and your corrections and teaching us how to connect to the, uh, the, the, the cube, the, well, the device. And we truly appreciate that. Um, and Peter, thank you for hosting the, the Zoom room and recording it and uh, converting into YouTube for everyone to see. <laughs> and those who are absent, we really appreciate you doing this YouTube. Yes. And Peter, and, uh, I, want to thank you. I want to say one last word. Please yeah. check with your counterpart in different countries and compare your device, all should just give the same thing. It should reduce your electrical bill instantly. And as you can see, the German counterpart, they did exactly like the blueprint and what my teaching had. You see, they get the same result as me and Pap and uh, all of you that build them according to spec. There should be not any deviation. Any deviation, but definitely the device will not work according to what you expect it to work. Yeah. Mine doesn't reduce instantly, Koso. I mean, after two weeks, I checked the meter reading. It's still more or less the same. It's only just a small little reduction. But anyway, we'll see. Yeah. I have to ask you need to power up anyway. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, everyone, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. It's lovely having you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye for now. Love you all. Thanks, Kuzo. Love you all. Bye-bye. And thank you again. Bye.